with somebody who has the authority to, to, to uh, uh, confirm this. People who think that the scriptures should be the sole authority, meaning sola scriptura, Bible in the Bible alone, should logically become Seventh-day Adventists and keep Saturday holy because they understood that we are keeping what the Bible is saying. You know, if you try to read the Bible from the Gospel, New Testament, you go back to the Old Testament as well, I would like to respectfully say and, and just, just humbly say that you cannot find any single reference to Sunday being the blessed, rest, uh, blessed, rested, or sanctified, or a day of worship. No biblical reference. No biblical record. And I humbly submit myself, myself for questioning. If there you can find something that commands us to follow this certain day, the first day of the week, it's always the seventh day that God is to... But you might be asking uh, Brother Mark or Pastor Mark or Mark, why is it that billions of people right now are celebrating? They're good people. Yes, I sincerely love our, our Catholic friends. Respectfully, uh, uh, um, I, I, I respect their, their beliefs. But let me go back to history a little bit here. Uh, there was a sudden change because... From the time a 70 80, you remember, you recall that Jesus, when before he died, he said, uh, when, when Daniel's prophecy is, a, uh, uh, do you remember Bar uh, Daniel's prophecy? When the Roman soldiers will, or when the uh, uh, unholy will surround the holy place, something like the desolate, it, or it's like, it's like this. When the Roman armies surround the holy city of Jerusalem, it's time for the Christians to leave. Now that's about 40 years. After Jesus died. And that happened in AD 70. When a general named uh, Titus destroyed the temple that was so sacred to the Jewish nation. And they were taken captives. And so from that day on until 100, 135 AD, there was a gradual change. Why? Because those who became Christians, they don't want to be identified with Jews. They rejected the Jews. That's why they don't want to do anything about but uh, this is what the observation of a scholar, Dr. Samuel Bakioke, you know, some of you remember his name, Divine Rest for Human Restlessness, page 237. Impressive indications suggest that Sunday of Servant was introduced at this time in conjun conjunction with Easter Sunday. There was a gradual change in early in the second century, but before that, everybody else who follows Jesus kept the seventh day. As an attempt, Dr. Samuel Bakayoki continues to clarify to the Roman authorities the Christian distinction from Judaism. They want to be separated from, the Jew, uh, from, their, from their roots, the Judaism uh, heritage of the church. So they kept Sunday. Why Sunday, by the way? You might be asking. Uh, why Sunday? Why the first day of the week? What's wrong with Sunday? There's nothing wrong with Sunday except that the Bible tells us to observe the Sabbath. This is like having, oh, I like the eldest, but somebody gave you the youngest. Oh, I like the eldest, but the youngest, you know. What would you feel? The same is true with God. God would say seven, but you insist one, or some, somebody insisted one, because the Roman government and the church during that time were united. They were united, the church and the state were united, and there is a great danger when this happens, because the conscience of men will be trampled. Remember when there are states that are, that are imposing their own religion to others? People are persecuted who don't follow their, own, their, their convictions or the, the state-sponsored religion. From the holiday, the seventh day, the holy day, to Sunday being the holiday. The first civil Sunday law was passed on March 7, 321. Anno Domini, or during the time, or during the lifetime, or during the time after the, after the time of Christ. By the great Constantine, emperor of the Roman Empire. And after four years, this was recorded uh, in Historia Ecclesiastica, Council of Laodicea, page 739. In the year 325, sorry, Sylvester, the bishop of Rome, the greatest bishop who ever lived in, the, uh, in that uh, era, Sylvester, bishop of Rome, changed the title of the first day, calling it the... The Lord's Day. 
Christian shall not do the eye, or I should say, give Saturday or Sabbath and the idol of Saturday, but shall work on that day. There was a gradual change by the Roman, uh, uh, Roman Empire together with the church, and work was instituted. Do no work on that day if, however, they are found Judaizing. There was a great penalty when you rest on Saturday during that time. And so this great uh, Pope administered uh, the first day or Sunday as the Lord's Day. The Christian Sabbath, page 16, the Bible, uh, the, 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 this uh, book says, The Catholic Church for over 1,000 years before the existence of a Protestant, a Protestant, by virtue of her divine mission, Change. Change the day from Saturday to Sunday. The converts' catechism. It's it's it was asking uh, you know if you're if you're if you're a base if you're if you are, uh, you know if you're studying in the Catholic Church, you, you will be given a converts' catechism, and there's a there's a question there. Which is the Sabbath day? Saturday the Sabbath day. That's according to them. Why do we observe Sunday instead of Sabbath? Because the Catholic Church transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. They admitted that they have change. They have the power to change. Perhaps the boldest thing, the most revolutionary change the church ever did happen in the first century. The whole day, the Sabbath, was changed from Saturday to Sunday not from any directions noted in the scriptures, but from the church, the Catholic church, sense of its own power, people who think that the scriptures should be the sole authority should logically become Seventh-day Adventists and keep Saturday holy. This is from the Catholic uh, literature and periodical. 1 John 5, 3, For this is love, the love of God that we keep, And his commandments, friends, are not burdensome. I'd like to tell you tonight that Jesus kept the seventh day Sabbath. There is no record that Jesus had ever taught his disciples to keep the other day. He respected the commandments of God. He respected the commandments that God has given to Moses. He did not say that you should not follow this. In fact, in Matthew 5, he says, I have come not to abolish or destroy the law. I have come to fulfill the law. And as I've said earlier, early on today, obedience is never legalism. Love is never legalism. The disciples kept the seventh day Sabbath. The apostles kept the seventh day Sabbath after Jesus died. Even John in the island of Patmos, he called the Saturday as the Lord's day in chapter 1. The remnant, those who remain to be faithful in the Bible, they kept the seventh-day Sabbath during the time of the Dark Ages. The Waldenschans in the mountain of Alps, in the Swiss mountains, they hide there because they were persecuted. They kept the Sabbath, the seventh-day Sabbath. And I would like to declare to you tonight, I will keep the seventh-day Sabbath. I would like to suggest to you tonight that there are principles on how to keep the Sabbath holy, holy. Holy, holy. I'd like to suggest to you tonight that if you believe that the Seventh-day Sabbath is God's command for all of us to, 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 to keep, plan your Sabbath ahead. Six days you have a great time to, you have a, you have a long time to prepare. Why don't you prepare for your Sabbath? Because preparing or planning for the Sabbath will enrich your experience with God. The second is make sure that sundown meeting on Friday night is joyful. Leviticus chapter 23 verse 32, we observe the Sabbath, we reckon the Sabbath from even to even or from sunset to sunset. We don't reckon time from we, we don't reckon time to observe the Sabbath from midnight to midnight we reckon time from sunset to sunset. Sunset Friday and sunset Saturday is the Sabbath. The 24 hour uh, day of rest, day of worship Day of blessings and day of sanctification. 
Make sure that when you observe the Sabbath and Friday, it is a meaning, it is a joyful meaning, meaning to say you are calling your friends to delight on the Sabbath. You're preparing your best meal. You're preparing your candlesticks. In, in the Jewish homes that I have observed, the Sabbath for them is a very joyful experience. And they would sing praises and they would just singing hallelujah for their for their uh, uh, for their being chosen as a great nation of God under it from the time of Abraham. Make sure the sundown meeting is joyful because that will set the tone for your Sabbath. Get a good rest on Friday night. Dearly beloved, for those of you who have been, who have been keeping the Sabbath, praise the Lord, you have been keeping the biblical commands of Jesus, which is not legalism, but it is obedience to God because you have a relationship with God. Get a good rest on Friday night. Don't, don't be too, uh, uh, too tired on Friday night. And then number four, keep in high spirit when you are fellowshipping in the church. You, know, you don't want to come here and just you are so uh, distraught or uh, despondent or discouraged. Keep in high spirit in church when you come to worship your God. And number five, get involved in ministries or work of compassion or mercy. Like, like you would like to uh, 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 volunteer for, uh, for the ministry for the kids, for the children's ministry. You want to volunteer for the hospitality ministry. You want to volunteer to visiting ministry. You want to volunteer to singing ministry or to just uh, uh, distribute some tracts about the truthfulness of the Sabbath. And that please get involved because these are things that will, you know, enlighten our Sabbath experience. And number six, the last, make the Sabbath a delight. God did not plan that the Sabbath will be a burden Sunday, you know. I, I know some of those who are keeping the seventh day Sabbath there. They are just so eager that the sunset will, will, will come so that they can enjoy Sunday. You know, let's make Sabbath a delight. Fellowshipping with one another, reading God's word, prioritizing God, seeking God first in our lives, and obeying His command for us to make the Sabbath a delight, a joy of the Lord, because we praise God that we are created. We praise God that He has made us. And so tonight, I would like to tell you from John 14, 15. If you love Jesus, we cannot keep the commandments. Somebody said, there's no way you can keep the commandments. Yes, there is. It's the way of Jesus. If you love Jesus, you will keep commandments and it will not be burdensome. If you love your spouse you, you will keep his or her request. Amen. Marriage is commitment created by God on the, on the time just before the Sabbath. And the Sabbath is our commitment to God because we have a relationship a saving relationship with Jesus friends the Sabbath is God's window of hope for us tonight if you have not started keeping the Sabbath I'd like to uh, make this appeal to you tonight if you want to inquire more why this is a biblical uh, command you're welcome to ask uh, questions tonight uh, after the service you can ask me or uh, whoever you would like to ask about the Sabbath, this subject. And if you are convicted tonight by the Word of God, that indeed the Seventh-day Sabbath is from the Word of God, that the Sabbath, the Seventh-day Sabbath is integral to God's creatorship. When the time, when, time, when people are believing, when, when people are beginning to believe that they came from a different source, Many evils have come to this world, but when they believe that they come from the hands of God, Good things happen in their lives. Blessings, <clears throat> sanctification, and eventually glorification. If you love Jesus, you will keep His commandments. If you love Jesus, you will give your heart to Him and say, I would like to keep the Sabbath. Now I understand a little bit. I will understand when the Holy Spirit will speak to me. I would like to keep the Sabbath right now. 